I am going to be doing my March favorites. I have a few things to share with you guys, so let's begin with this foundation, which is called the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Now, I've only been using this for two weeks now, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, I A lot of people rave about this, a lot of beauty gurus rave about this, but I just never really gotten around to actually trying it out till two weeks ago, and I'm just, I'm super in love with this foundation, and one of the reasons why I really like this is that it has a very lightweight finish to it. It doesn't seem cakey, it doesn't seem heavy, it just has a really, really lightweight finish to it. And on top of that, they have a good color selection. I think they have over 20 selections on um, other colors, so you're more likely to um, find the perfect... Um, find the perfect color for you. Another thing that I wanted to mention about this is that it has a very dewy finish to it, so I don't exactly know how this is gonna work for me in the summer just because I have really oily skin, so if you combine summer and this together with the dewiness and the oil, it's just, I don't know how that's gonna work out for me, but so far so great. Um, I haven't been that oily since, you know, it's not summertime just yet, so. Um, yeah, I've just been really liking this, and on top of that, it's cheap, I got it for I think it was about $10 to $11 at Target. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is Maybelline Super Stay 14 Hour Lipstick, which looks like this. I'm sure you guys have seen this around. And this is actually something, um, this is something new that Maybelline came out with. And this is what it looks like. Um, it claims to be very long lasting. It claims to stay on for 14 hours, which I don't believe in. Um, but it does a really good job of staying on my lips for quite a while. I went to dinner the other day and it lasted for almost, oh, oh my gosh, you're such a weirdo. I don't think you guys have met Junior. Hi, say hi baby. This is my baby and his name is Junior. I did a video, um, I have a video, a whole video dedicated to him on my vlog channel. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. But this is my new puppy and he's a Shih Tzu. He's only 10 weeks old and he's so cute. <laughs> a lot of you guys have been asking, um, what happened to your other dog? Um, do you still have your other dog? The other dog that um, I feature in my... If you guys have been following me for quite a while now, I have this puppy that I always feature in my videos, and her name is Coco. She's not actually mine. She's my sister's dog. So now I have my own baby. Look at him. He's adorable. So anyways, as I was saying, while he rudely interrupted me, um, um, I was, I don't even know where I left off, but basically I wore this to dinner and it lasted for a very long time. I did, however, find that a, I had to apply more uh, towards the end of the night, but it did a great job of staying on for, for throughout the whole night, so... Yeah, I've just been really enjoying this one. Okay, so next are some nail polishes, which I'm actually really excited to share with you guys. And it is by Revlon. This is what it looks like. It's their glittery polishes. And I've never been a really huge fan of Revlon nail polishes just because I used to use them back in the day and they, they weren't great before. They just, I don't know, they, they were really just awful before. But um, recently I was at Target and I found these. I I think these just came out, I'm not sure. I never really saw them before, so, but then again, I never really paid attention to Revlon nail polishes, so I don't know. But basically, this is what it looks like, and they're very, very, very comparable to Deborah Lipman's glittery polishes. If you guys are not familiar with those, those, um, Deborah Lipman is an amazing, amazing collection of nail polishes, and she actually has um, a line of glittery polishes, and these are awesome dupes for it. And on top of that, they're inexpensive. They're only $4.99 at Target. $4.99 at Target. That's super cheap. And um, compared to Deborah Lippmann, Deborah Lippmann's um, nail polishes ranges from $16 to $18, which is completely outrageous. I'm not going to lie, though. I do own some Deborah Lippmann nail polishes. I do think that her line is amazing but I mean if you guys are looking for um, an inexpensive dupe for them I highly recommend Revlon's nail polishes. Okay so next is Benefits Hula Bronzer and this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this around. A lot of people rave about this and um, it just it, this is really nice. I like how it's very lightweight. It doesn't give me that super streaky dark bronze line <laughs> but um, I think in my last monthly favorites video I talked about the NYC bronzing powder. I still love this one. I kind of switch it up from time to time. I still use this one. So if you guys are interested in a cheaper alternative to the Hula Bronzer, I highly recommend NYC's bronzing 
powder, which looks like this, and you can purchase it at Target. It's only like two bucks. <laughs> Next is another benefit product, and it is the Professional Face Primer. I don't think you guys can see that. I think the camera's washing it out. There, I think you guys can see that, but I'm sure you guys have seen this around, and I've been really enjoying this. Um, before this, I was actually using Laura Mercier's um, face primer, which was good. I had no problems with it, but I just felt like I needed a change. Um, so I was at Sephora, and they were actually having one of those, um, another package deal for this one. It came with two other products. I can't remember what it was, but it came with two other products and this one for only 30 bucks, um, which was a good deal because um, this alone costs would cost me... Um, $29 so I thought that was a good deal as I've mentioned before I have really oily skin and this does a really great job of um, keeping my face matte throughout the whole day I would go out and about um, I do touch-ups here and there but I find that I don't do as much when I use a face primer so I highly recommend this one so now I want to share some hair products and the first thing I want to talk about is this Dove dry shampoo which looks like this and I can't remember who it was I was watching someone else's video and she was raving about this so I was like hmm maybe I should give it a shot and if you've been watching me for quite a while now you'd know that I use this dry shampoo called Psst. yes it's called Psst. <laughs> and I always find it so funny whenever I tell people oh yeah it's called Psst. but um, I was using that for a while and it works great I had no problems with it but but um, yeah, I was watching someone else and she was raving about this. So I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. So I found it at Target and I smelled it and it's, oh my gosh, it smells super amazing. Um, well, any Dove product smells amazing. I have their shampoo, I have their soap, I have um, a lot of Dove products. So um, when I, when I um, used this, I wasn't super surprised that it smelled amazing because I know that Dove smells amazing, but I was just caught off guard because my other dry shampoo didn't smell like anything. So this smells, I, oh, it smells like, I don't know, I don't even know what to, Ah, it just smells amazing. You guys just have to, um, you just have to try it out for yourself. But aside from smelling amazing, it's a really good dry shampoo. Um, it's fairly inexpensive. I think this was only for three dollars, three to four dollars at Target. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, and on top of that, it smells amazing. You guys have to smell it. So that's about it for my beauty favorites. Now on to my random favorites. I only have one thing to share with you guys, and my random favorite is Junior. Oh, you're so cute. I just can't get over how cute he is. Ah, look at him. He's so cute. He smells amazing. I can't believe how calm he is right now. He's acting like he's not a troublemaker, but he is. He's he's such a handful. You guys have... You guys... Oh! So now it's time for my favorite YouTuber of the month and I don't exactly know why I've never mentioned her in my other monthly favorites just because I've been I've been a huge fan of her videos for quite a while now so I don't know I don't know why I've never mentioned her but her name is Evelina also known as Evelina Kutza and I just I absolutely think she's amazing I love her videos so much they're very creative they're very inspiring I wish my videos were that amazing but um, I just I just love her videos so much I love her personality I love her accent by the way um, she has this really nice Russian accent it's so cute um, I think her and her husband combine ideas. I think her husband um, films her videos for her, which I think that's really sweet for him to, you know, join her in her journey on YouTube. I think that's just a really nice thing to do. Um, so, um, yeah, you guys have to just check out her videos. And on top of that, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's very down to earth. I just get this really nice vibe from her. She's really sweet. So I think that's about it for my March favorites. And also, I wanted to let you guys know that I've already chosen my winner for my uh, my daily look giveaway I've already messaged the winners but I, I'll still put their um, their username in the description box so um, be sure to check that out in case you're one of the winners let me know message me so yeah that's about it I hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon bye <laughs>